You know what I like about reading a chapter book like Mercy Watson? I can read some of it. It's a long book to read all at once, but I can read some of it, and then it gives me a little time to think about maybe what is going to happen next, and I kind of like that. I like to guess, and then I like to read more to see if I'm right. So the last time we were reading about Mercy Watson, she is on her way to Baby and Lincoln's, oh, not Baby, Baby Lincoln and Eugenia Lincoln's house. And she's not going there alone. Do you remember who's riding on her back? Leroy Ninker, that thief or robber. So he's on her back. And they're on the way to the Lincoln sister's house. So let's see what's going to happen. I'm trying to think if I've got ideas. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Do you have an idea? Before we read, let's sing. Jesus loves children. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you in love tenderly. Jesus loves all, no matter how small. That's why I love Jesus better than all. All right, we're on chapter 10. Now look at this page. No pictures. Do you think you're still going to like to hear about it? You know what? Since there's no pictures to look at, you could even close your eyes. I might even turn the book and read it this way. Yippee-i-o! Baby, shouted Eugenia, come back here immediately. And Baby got out of bed. She went into Eugenia's room. Yes, sister, said Baby. Did you hear that noise, said Eugenia. Was it a yippee-i-o, sister? It was, said Eugenia. You are dreaming, said Baby. Oh, nonsense, said Eugenia. Open the curtain. And Baby opened the curtain. Together, the Lincoln sisters watched Mercy gallop across the lawn. They watched the little man on her back take off his cowboy hat and wave it over his head. Yippee-i-o, shouted the little man. That pig is disturbing the peace, said Eugenia. And so is that cowboy riding her. I'm calling the police. Oh, sister, said Baby, are you sure it's not a dream? It's a nightmare. That's what it is, said Eugenia. Ooh, look out their window. Can you see? Do you see Leroy Ninker and Mercy? Her legs are not even touching the ground. She's running right through the grass. Oh, another page with no pictures. Next door, Mer Mrs. Watson discovered that Mercy was not in her bed. Mr. Watson, she shouted, come at once. And Mr. Watson came at once. Mercy's not here, said Mrs. Watson. Are you certain, said Mr. Watson. Have you looked under the bed? And Mrs. Watson bent over and she looked under the bed. She's not there, said Mrs. Watson. Mr. and Mrs. Watson stood together in Mercy's room. What should we do, asked Mrs. Watson. Yippee-i-o! It's that noise again, said Mrs. Watson. Mr. Watson went over to the window. He opened the curtain and he looked outside. Mrs. Watson, said Mr. Watson, we must call the fire department immediately. It's an emergency. Ooh, can you see Mr. Watson peeking out his window up there? In reality, Leroy Ninker was a small thief on the back of a big pig. But in Leroy's mind, he was a cowboy riding a, brucking, a bucking bronco in the Wild West. Being a cowboy is hard work, said Leroy Ninker. I need some refreshment. So Leroy reached into his pocket and he grabbed a hold of a butter barrel candy. He unwrapped it with one hand and he put it in his mouth. Ah, said Leroy Ninker, this is the life. But just then, the pig kicked up her heels, the pig bucked, the pig reared. Leroy Ninker lost his grip. yippee -ah! Oh, said Leroy. He flew through the air. Ah, said Leroy. He landed on his back. Oh, said Leroy Ninker. Oh, boy. All right, we still have a few chapters left to read tomorrow. What do you think is going to happen? Now, the Lincoln sisters said they were going to call the police. The Watsons said they were going to call the fire department. Do you think anyone will show up? I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, you are my Savior. You are my friend. Your love for me will never end. Thank you for teaching. 
me how to pray. Thank you for loving me every day. Amen. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.